at this moment when i am recording this video there are some people who are watching my webinar as in treating that webinar as a live webinar so i'm going to show you how i have actually uh, uh, automated my webinar which looks just like a live webinar with all the live feeds and all the, and 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 also showing the uh, attendees count okay so for this the tool which i'm using is ever webinar by the way if you want to uh, use this tool if you want to try this tool for 30 days okay so i suggest you to go to dna club.in slash webinar jam that's a link i'm giving this link in this video description as well you can get 30 days trial for just one dollar if you directly take this from the from their website you will get only 14 days trial okay so once you open this you can click on monthly and then from here you can go ahead and start this one dollar trial uh, for this $19 per month, which is going to build monthly and later on you can convert this into annual plan as well Okay, so this is the exact plan which I'm using right now. Okay, so at this moment as I told you there are some people who are watching my watching me live Okay, this is basically an automated webinar. You can see it is showing 102 people are watching it um, 7 minute and 57 seconds gone through and these are the messages if any new member if any new person joins this webinar now he's going to read all these comments and uh, these all comments are basically um, not the real comments okay so how i have done it i'm going to show you uh, step by step okay so i use the tool ever webinar so i suggest you go ahead and take 30 days trial and after that you can see there's ever webinar option here once i log in okay once i access this so you can see there is an option called on the left hand side you can see options like home webinars analytics registrants and trainings okay so to create a new webinar click on add webinar okay and uh, now it is asking us to uh, what is the source of this video okay which webinar i mean the webinar video so there are two options one is external video file and then and, and another one is previous webinar jam live event so suppose if you're using webinar jam for your live webinars in that case earlier done webinar jam event can i mean the same recorded video you can use it but if you're not using webinar jam and suppose if you have a video if you have a webinar recording in uh, video format maybe you have done it through zoom or many on and maybe other other recording tools in that case you have to use external video file now there are two options here okay one is youtube you can uh, upload the video on youtube as unlisted video and another is vimeo but if you use the youtube the problem is that it is going to show youtube um, uh, youtube uh, logo there okay so people can understand this is a youtube video so it does it does not make sense so what i am doing is i am using vimeo okay so vimeo paid account i am using okay so if i log into my vimeo account okay so this is my vimeo account now suppose example suppose this is my webinar okay example if this is my webinar this is a video basically what this video i have uploaded on my vimeo account yeah i am using a paid vimeo account right now okay so if i click here and if i click on uh, video file links so from here if i copy this link okay hd1080 if i copy this link and if i go back to webinar jam and if i put here the link of this webinar okay i mean this is a vimeo which means the player the video which is going to play this is going to be the player of vimeo but it is going to show on ever webinar okay so this way and then i have to uh, mention the duration of the video so duration of the video i can see is is 40 minutes and 35 seconds okay so if i go back to webinar jam and if i i have to mention here 40 minutes and 35 seconds that's it then save then basic setting like what is the webinar now say for example dna partner program uh, for test okay just i will delete it later on okay so webinar name webinar title you can also upload the webinar thumbnail click on save okay who is the webinar moderator so this is my name we can change this name as well okay i can click on here on edit and i can basically change the profile photo and all these things okay so let's go it next and uh, now the next setting is going to be an important one okay that is uh email the game configuration missing this needs to load okay so i will check this later on okay uh save let's go it next now webinar schedules okay so if i click here on uh, configuration so now when i want this webinar to 
play okay so i want this webinar to play every day every monday every tuesday like suppose i want this to play every day at 8 pm okay and uh, indian time okay so i select indian then i click on add so every day at 8 pm this webinar is going to play allow time uh, zone conversion so yes okay enable instant watch replay so which means if anybody uh, come to my landing page that person will see two option one is they can watch yesterday's replay okay or else they can uh, register them themselves for the next upcoming show okay so accordingly if you want to enable display uh, sorry uh, replay for the last event so you can enable it allow late attendance which means suppose your webinar starts at 8 pm and if anybody uh, comes to the uh, comes to your landing page at 81 or 82 okay uh, which means the webinar is in progress okay so do you want them to go into the webinar so let's keep it yes okay uh, enable just in time uh, option which means you want this webinar to run any time that person comes to the Uh, i mean open the landing page so you can play this webinar in the interval of 15 minutes 30 minutes maybe 30 minutes or maybe uh, every 15 minutes every 30 minute or maybe every one hour okay so this way you can also do the setting display schedule so uh, i want to display okay display only the next immediate schedule i want to display only the next schedule okay and i do not want do not want to block any day okay so every day this is going to play at 8 pm then click on save then go to next so registration page design so the landing page opt in page you can design there are some templates available so if i click here on customize okay and i want the form to be embedded on that page itself i don't want people to click and then a pop up to appear i want i want people to directly see the webinar uh, i mean the opt in details within the page itself okay so you can see okay i can update the photo i mean the uh whatever is your cover photo you can i mean maybe you have created a thumbnail kind of things okay so if i go to downloads so from here i can pick uh any of these like say for example this one okay so the photo you can pick and keep it here okay and then about the webinar and then all these things okay then simply what i'm going to do next is click here and save and exit okay so this is the opt in page then what all fields you want there to be there on the opt in page so first name and email id are mandatory then i can add phone number and i can make it mandatory as well okay then free this free registration okay if if you are converting this into paid registration then you have to first integrate paypal and other payment gateways with uh, every webinar so let's keep it free for now okay then new new registration notification which means if anybody opt in for the webinar if you want an email notification then you can click here and you can actually uh, the email will be sent to you okay on this email id the account okay on through which you have created this uh, ever webinar account then password protection so enable or disable okay so next now payment email okay email so here it is by default ever webinar email okay and now i can choose the email notifications okay so which means immediate one email is sent okay you can see here when when anybody opt in instantly they are going to receive this email okay with the webinar room link okay with the webinar room link which which is which is going to be auto populated okay so similarly you can add more email if i click here on add email i can uh, add an email maybe one hour before the event okay and this kind of i mean before the event and after the event uh, once the webinar is finished i want to send email 2 hours after the webinar starts to all the registrants with the webinar replay video maybe i can write more email after the webinar i can invite people to book a one to one consultation with me so this way you can create emails before the event and after the event okay so this is about email marketing the next uh, click on next then a confirmation page which means a thank you page so once if anybody opt in so it is going to show by default the ever webinar default page okay then survey the registrants you want to do it yes or no then thank you page design how you want uh, this thank you page to be displayed okay the uh, user interface so maybe if you want to play a video so you can use this particular design or let's keep it by default okay right now save the next auto play so i suggest you to keep it disabled because i have experienced that on i have experienced then on some mobile devices it does not play automatically and uh, i mean it is better to disable this option okay and uh, once the time hits like if it is 8 pm then people have to click on uh, 
पीपल हैव टू बेसिकली क्लिक ऑन प्ले द वीडियो देन ओनली दिस वीडियो दैट वेबनेट विल बी प्लेड ओके सो काउंट डाउन पेज डिजाइन सो दिस ऑल्सो वी कैन कॉन्फिगर ओके इफ ए क्लिक ऑन कस्टमाइज सो वेन दे गो टू दी वेबनर रूम ओके एंड इट इज जस्ट अबाउट द टाइम टू स्टार्ट सो दैट टाइमर इज गोइंग टू प्ले हेयर एंड देन यू कैन ऑल्सो मैंशन द टेक्स्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो एडिट द टेक्सट लाइक डोंट ओके लाइक एग्जाम्पल डोंट क्लोज दिस पेज वी आर स्टार्टिंग shortly so this way you can edit this okay so click on save and exit save live content now here it is uh, it is important uh, live chat live chat box so you want to enable the chat box or disable it like in my case my chat messages are enabled okay so how to enable it so keep it enabled and then there are two option allow attendees to see each other's chat messages so it 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 should be enabled and also save real comments from the real attendees so it should also be enabled which means in every show real attendees their messages will be saved and in the next show it is going to show uh, as as the comments okay so so it is good option okay chat messages posted by real attendees will be saved in the database so if you wish you may incorporate them to your simulated chat role so i keep both of these options enabled basically and then also you can add some uh, chat messages like say for example i want to show a particular chat message on 40th second so i can select i can put my name then as an admin so pay here and i can put the payment link so on 40th minute it is going to show this message okay and also a uh, display number of attendees okay so now i want to show the number of attendees like right now it is showing 108 people who are watching this webinar so how i have kept it so i am using this dynamic simulated number of attendees so here you can choose you can actually enter like so example i i enter 110 so it is going to start with uh, maybe 100 then it is going to it will go hit the peak 110 then gradually it will go down at the end of the webinar so people will people people think that this is a live webinar because attendees count is also going up and down okay so click on save and then save next so do you want to enable the webinar replay so you can click on save and save uh, in the replay when people were watching it as a replay do you want people to show the player control or not whether they can fast forward it or uh, backward or not so this also enable and disable okay uh, replay page expiry so i suppose i i want people to watch this replay within 24 hours so after 24 hours uh, this replay page will be expired so this kind of also setting you can do allow people to submit questions during the replay do you want people to um, message and that message will be actually sent to you as an email so that you can understand that people are watching replay and they are asking some questions there okay then next congratulations then okay so this is a, so simple how to set up an automated webinar in every webinar so this is the webinar which we have set now okay it is running as every day at 8 pm now if i click here on your links this is the link which i have to promote and if i go to new tab if i enter this web this link you can see that uh, this is the text okay this is the poster and here you can see the next webinar is going to happen monday i mean 8 pm okay and then if i register if i register it is going to show like this thank you page this is the link and here i can see the timer that this webinar is going to start in next this much of time okay so this is how you can actually uh, set up the uh, the webinar automated webinar in every webinar and after that you can also see the analytics how many people have opted in for the webinar and other things you can see here like say for, say for example i click here on this webinar then i can see the proper analytics how many people have visited how many people have registered how many people attended it live so i got 64% as show up rate which is very good okay so and analytics are there and also if you go to registrants you can see uh, the you can see all the registrants in the webinar in a excel format and you can later you can export it as well okay so i hope you understand this is how you can actually automate your uh, webinar okay and if you if you want to try webinar jam if you want to try ever webinar for 30 days for just $1 you can use this link if you use this link you can also book a consultation call with me if you are finding any problem because this is my affiliate link using this link if you uh, 
take this trial then i can help you also to set up this entire webinar for you okay so check out the link in this video description thank you if you have any question you can put it in the comment box below subscribe to the channel as well thank you